Hey folks, Quilly Team here and welcome to Let's Play Some Dave the Diver. Now I have a really pretty full schedule right now on YouTube, but I was checking out the Steam front page and under the bestsellers list, there was a game called Dave the Diver, which is a pretty unassuming name. And I clicked on it to see what the deal was with it. And the description was quite interesting. Let me read it out to you here. Um, Dave, the Vi D Dave the Diver bleh, is a casual single player adventure RPG featuring deep sea exploration and fishing during the day and sushi restaurant management at night. Join Dave and his quirky friends as they seek to uncover the secrets of the mysterious blue hole. I was absolutely intrigued by it, decided to grab a, a key for it and uh, give it a go. So what I'm going to do is this afternoon, I'm going to play a little and record. We might get, I don't know, we might get two or three episodes out of it. We might get five or six episodes out of it. I'm not sure. And then I'll, I'll kind of leave it be. That'll be it. So right now it's just going to be a limited run let's play. Obviously, if it gets lots of views and lots of likes, then Maybe, maybe I'll play through the whole story and we'll see what it is. But right now it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be a little sushi sampler to see what the heck is Dave the Diver all about? I've done zero further research. I have not watched anything. I haven't watched the trailer. I have no knowledge what this game is other than the fact that the description was quite intriguing and it's uh, rated as a, like very positive on Steam. So people clearly must be liking it. So without further ado, let's jump into it with new game here. Nice pixel graphics. Good music. Tahiti, it's a magical place. I don't think we're in Tahiti, but maybe. Oh, we got some Quentin Tarantino shots here with the feet. Is that crab crawling onto us? I wonder if that's us. The belly, little beard. Oh, hello, hello, Mr. Crab. <laughs> that our friend maybe has opened a sushi restaurant and is inviting us to come work for them? It's interesting that there's no titles whatsoever. Oh, we're getting the uh, the float plane, propeller plane heading out. I wonder if it's set in, in modern times. Well, oh, of course, there was. A, we just saw a cell phone. I was seeing the, uh, the, the plane, right? And this is very like... It could have been any any time in the 19, uh, 1900. Okay, we're getting credits here. I think I'm just gonna skip ahead. Maybe? Yeah, all right, I'm gonna call this skippable then. Because I don't know if those credits are gonna go on for three minutes or if we're about to get more cutscene. Oh, Dave, you got here quickly. So this is Cobra, all right. Yeah, all right, we are definitely the deep sea diver, that's for sure. Um, well, I was told to hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So, where's the sushi at? Uh, don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at this gigantic, this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. Not just the size. Every time you enter the giant blue hole, the train and ecology changes, which means this could be an incredible business opportunity. What kind of business? We can discuss that later. I heard you took a break from diving. How about warming up? A guide... From here, I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go on in. Hmm, I don't have a good feeling about this. Prologue, a sushi bar by the blue hole. There's the sushi place over there. All right. Try moving to the arrow with wazd. All right. I'm guessing I'll go ahead and dive. Not in 68. Pyramid butterfly fish has large white trunk. Damn my SSD load times. Nice form, ha ha ha, all right. How about try stretching out a bit? Try moving to the marked area. I'm giving Cobra a voice now. With left shift, you can move quickly. Remember that this speeds up oxygen consumption. Okay, so when I shift, you can see that little extra haze around us. Beautiful game. Uh, looks like, I like how we've got this sort of sense of depth going on. Uh, good. Looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. Doesn't sound very nimble. Now let's practice using the weapon you'll need in contingencies, the dive knife. Try using the survival knife on small fish. You can use the left click key. Aha! From hell's heart, I stab at thee. Maybe? Hmm. Okay, just use it three times, I guess. I did, I did do one. 
Well done, smooth and quick. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? So that sounds more useful. The harpoon? Well, I haven't used one in a long time. Do you aim first and then, hmm. Well, looks like you need some practice. Try using the harpoon to catch, let's say, three fish. Aim with, okay, so right click to aim, fire with left click. Woo, we got bullet time. Oh, that is some violent. Wow. I think you should get back. I think that should get you back on track in no time. All right, come back up to the boat. Looks like we're doing that automatically. Do, 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 do. Okay, now that you got the hang of it, let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? For sure, that soft meat with oily rice, oh man, that's just the best. Ah, oh, listen up, I have a friend who's a sushi chef who left the business, I'm being very inconsistent with these accents, who left the business for a while. He has a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he has one, s he has one skill that I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It is right here that I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one-of-a-kind sushi. The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole where fish from all over the world can be found. Don't you think people would just go nuts for it? Yum, I'm already craving it. Ah, I bet. So, why don't you join in on this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but I don't know a thing about cooking. Well, the pro thing is you don't have to cook this fish for sushi. Nothing to worry about. The restaurant's all ready. All you need to do is dive to get the ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? I'm gonna decline and we're just gonna leave the game right now. What happens if we decline it? Uh, I don't really have any money on me. Don't think I can pay. Hmm, that reminds me. I just remembered a while ago you broke my underwater drone. Oh yeah, to get in on the business. The repair cost about 500 gold, but I didn't charge you for it. Uh, it broke after five seconds of use. It was, all, it was broken already, wasn't it? What do you mean? It was totally fine. Well, okay. So what should I do? It was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's have a chat at the restaurant. <laughs> All right, space bar, the arrow to go to the sushi restaurant. Go, sushi. Ooh, I guess there'll be other locations later. Hey, Banco, are we all ready to open? Oh, I'm in a new accent. Um, mm. As you can see, it's ready just in time. I'm like, I can't, I've already got some deep voices. Let's go high for Banco here. Mm. Oh, it's already finished? You? Ah, you're the fisherman Cobra was talking about. Well, I'm more of a diver than the fisherman. All right. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Banco. So, you like sushi? I sure do. Tuna belly, eel, sea urchin. Oh boy, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Hmm, just as mediocre as expected. Huh? Dude. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. What part of land? I guess the rice. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish, just like you. How empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can afford, offer. <laughs> well, that's gonna hurt my voice. All right. My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. What? Oh, there's a kitty cat, got scared off the shelf. Yeah, those bottles are definitely a hazard. I like the ink, eat, drink, love sign. Oh, everything's smashed. Oh no, we're supposed to do a grand opening. An, an earthquake? Hmm, the interior is really quite a mess. Yeah, it's like we will need to delay the opening today. You know what? I spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair costs through doing business. In this state? <laughs> in the end of the, the in the end, the importance of restaurant is the taste. First, we need some ingredients. Did you bring anything? Well, I have something I just caught. Only three fish. This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go and catch seven more fish first. Oh, and the restaurant's gonna be open only in the evening. Won't that decrease sales? Ah, uh, you think we should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? I hope you guys are having fun because I'm having a ball. It's the chef's duty to prepare the best possible food with meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens a sword on a whetstone. You will never, you will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. Nope, can't move. I guess we're just cutscening. Yep. All right. Boy, I better have some water here. Seems Banco is really passionate about his work. He may not talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. <laughs> I haven't seen Banco since, so enthusiastic since the incident. It's nice to see him like this. 
The incident? Oh, oh, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Well, anyway, we need more ingredients, so go catch seven fish first. All right. Her bag of sushi, we need 100 gold. Prepare sushi ingredients. In we go. Sploosh. Cardinal fish. Da, 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 da. This is a sushi bar during the day without having to worry about time passing. Okay. Oh, is time passing in real time when I'm down here? Two, depth, uh, buttons. Well, I'm gonna go for some easy fish for now, I suppose. All right, so I can't shoot straight up or anything. Oh, is this just a log? I'm like, is that treasure or something? Well, it's kind of wiggling. Oh! I looted some wood! Okay. Oh, I didn't have the angle. Or the range. Oh my god! Will! I don't play with any first person. No. Oh, it's like a little damage indicator. I wonder if we can just use this to clear paths. Okay, auction blinked, but I think it's just because it hit like two thirds. I know we've, this is more fish than I need. Oh, rainbow. Escape. Is this not strong enough to get them in one go? Are you gonna escape again? Oh, space bar! Oh! Oh! Hang on. Mash! Mash it! Mash it! I haven't internalized the range yet. Alright, so we have enough fish, so we'll head up, but I'm kinda of tempted. Bar mashing! Oh! Dang it! I was still mashing! Oh, I'm overweighted. Oh, I really wish I'd read that. Is there a helper? Oh no. I'm betting he's gonna deplete auction faster. Oh. It's okay, it's okay. We're fine. No problem. Uh, return to boat, please. All right. I got your fishies, plus a piece of wood. Oh, it's nighttime. All right, looks like you caught quite a few. At this rate, we'll make boatloads of money in no time. <laughs> my, my, would you look at the time? We'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you head to the sushi bar? Mission complete. Prepare sushi ingredients. Ooh, hello. All right. Saturday, October the 1st. Or the first or the 10th of January. I'm guessing this is October the 1st, though. Uh, 21C. Biggest fish was a Mediterranean parrotfish, two stars, 50 centimeter, and some wood. Two fish tank. Do I select something? Oh, this parrotfish is worth more, but looks like it doesn't send mm -hmm. as much meat. Wrap up your day and get things ready at the sushi. Oh. By the way, you'll only be able to dive once in the morning, once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before dinner hours start. Okay. I'm moving. I don't know. All right. Go sushi. Dish must be registered and menu just to be served to guests. Okay. Oh, the preparation's coming along. Yeah, I think we're almost, we're mostly set. That's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. I mean, that's that is what it said. We'd fish during the day and sushi bar at night. I mean, somebody help the ingredients are serving. Said all I need to do is cook. And who else is there for that but you? Wait, I, I know I'm gonna have to give up the voices for a little bit. It's probably not good for my uh, my throat here. Wait, I never worked at a restaurant before. The guests will be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. What? Open the ingredients below. All right, ingredients there. Looks like it's key four. Here you can check your fish, crops, sauces. Oh my God, I'm gonna want sushi so bad after this. And all the other materials you have. 
For now, that's all you need to know. Come back later for more information. See to close the ingredient window. Okay, or hit that button. All right, I'll show you how to register actual items to the menu. Menu, one key. New recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. There's a sushi recipe for the fish you acquired earlier, so try registering that to the menu. All right, add to menu. So we have a lot of blue tang sushi. Like we have a lot of blue tang, so blue tang sushi. Max 12. All right, probably wasn't that hard. Okay. Setting ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat. Only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you'll have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavor of the dishes, so try it out when you have enough ingredients. Now use the ingredients you caught to fill out the menu as much as you can. Where's the auto supply option? There's the enhancer there, we won't use that. So I'll just keep grabbing fish of the type we have the most of. Bronze or higher. Okay. It looks like it might become scrollable later on. So base menu includes norimaki, sushi made with seaweed, vinegar, and wasabi. And then, so just basically just rice um, with the wrapper. And then green tea is also for sale. So the paired fish, okay, we didn't get as much meat, but it is worth more per dose. We did see that per dose. Sure, per oh, dose. How long are you going to stand there talking? Oh. Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Hmm, have you poured green tea before? No, only soft drinks, I think. All right, I'll tell you how. Go over to Cobra. Hello. I guess I space bar. Sometimes customers will order a drink. Uh, is that a five or an S? S. Oh, I, was, I, I stopped early because I didn't want to overfull and I thought I could, you know, just keep topping it off. Okay, no, it has to be done in one pour. Customers who drank green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. Expected Banco's green tea is quite something. The tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? And as always, why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? Wait until the cooking is done. Oh, there you go. So I'm guessing I'm going to pick it up from here. Come over to where I am and take this food. You can dash while when serving. Use left shift to move more quickly. Don't forget to watch your stamina. I guess that's the stamina bar. Hello. Hello. Sent the package last week. Put in the world. Let me check on that. Uh, hey. Mm. Ober didn't even eat. He's always distracted like that. Mm. The food can't be reused, so we'll have to throw mm. it out. Seems like just a waste to throw it away. Michael Sushi never uses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Mm. All right. Hold Q to discard. Mm. Everything looks about ready. Hmm, haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kind of nervous. Don't forget to press E after filling the menu for business to begin. Customers will order dishes from the menu. Don't forget to register dishes to the menu before Sushi Bar opens. Uh-huh. All right, eat open. Bust it up, place. Oh, is this our wasabi bar? Wow. Who's gonna order first? Oh. Okay, so, should I try? More dishes being made. More dishes there. Dish. Dish. Rush, rush, rush. I'm happy it blinks. Then I don't have to like try to map the visuals from one to the other. Rush, rush, rush. Pick up. Serve, because I think you were first. I'm assuming there's some sort of patient meter. Oh, four. And stop. Perfect. Nice. Grab. Oh, yeah, there's the, the patient's meter. I can see. Well, nope, still perfect. Excellent. Run, run, run. I'm gonna go to the end because they've been there a little bit longer waiting for the food. Run, 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 run. Stamina meter out. Grab. Serve. Oh, people are so happy. Da, da, da. Do a little dance. Sabi meter is emptying. I wonder if that's how many people people we can serve and then that'll be the end of the day. We almost 
breaking even. Evening's nearly over though. This is probably the last customer. There you go. Enjoy. Do a little dance. Be able to hire more staff? Interesting. All right, close for the day. Top sales is the parrotfish. Lots of very happy people. Ooh, earned artisan's flame. All right. Next day or it's nighttime? Okay. Work's finally done. My back and legs hurt. You're a bit clumsy, but not bad for first day. Try a little harder next time. I suppose coming from you, it's a compliment. A man, a man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Yeah, yeah. All right. In any case, a toast to the opening of Banco Sushi. Does it sort of make sense? I could use my my own voice for the main character. Yeah, there's some little 3D effects. Oh, that might have been a flat thing. Oh, some some debris. Oh no. Oh, Banco was waiting for a delivery, a package. Whoa. Okay. Oh man, we got. We got we got a porch pirate. No, he's not sending any patches. I thought he was. Oh, oh no! The whole boat! Yeah. I think we just saw someone die. What the heck? There we go. The second. Who this? Hmm, are you the man who's been diving around here? Ellie. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. I was expecting a more professional looking guy. Oh, I guess we're FaceTiming. I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ellie. I study biology at the local graduate school. I've come out to investigate a report of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Okay, okay, what do you want? I'd like to study the ecology of the blue hole. Get me some agar and red starfish first. Oh, agar. Good gelatin replacement. I don't think it's a good idea to ask for just one of each. Get me two of each. Mm. Your tone makes me want to refuse. I got a reward, but you know what? It's fine. Oh, reward? I wasn't refusing. I was just saying. You can ask more nicely. In case, please hurry. Don't dally. Okay. New content. Smartphone. You can use your phone to access various types of content. Check your current missions and more. Game settings can be accessed from the phone. Looks like I hit... Oh, escape for the phone. Neat. Why is there an N next to the call? Oh, maybe new contacts. Heather. Ooh, I wonder how that's going to affect things. You've got mail. It's Manbo Air. Just want to get away from it all it's summer for vacation? From it all this summer for vacation? Well, Manbo Air, I mean, it's... You sent me this in September. It's now October, so I don't know about the whole summer thing. Promo ticket below to purchase your ticket. I wonder if this is a reference to some other... Some other game they did. Oh, over capacity. There we go. If you exceed your weight limit, you will slow down. If you e exceed an even higher amount, you won't be able to carry any more. Use escape to organize and we can discard some stuff. Hey, hey. Okay. All right, let's go fishing. Boom. So we need fish for the restaurant. And then we're also going to look to collect some, uh, some sea life. Okay, there's a starfish over there. there we go. How do I get there? I wonder if I can get to it from this side. Yes, I can. Another log. No fish over here, though. Well. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Gotta fight. Ah, I didn't notice it quickly enough. I wonder if we can get strength upgrades. Range upgrades, you know. Boom. More powerful spear gun. I mean, probably. Yeah, nice 3D effect with the, um, the pixelated texture. Oh, we have a seahorse. Oh! It's not spearable. It's like a cooking pot? There's an eel up there, too. Olive oil. Oh, okay, that's just a, an obstacle. I thought we had some, uh, some eel, is it? Noggy? Eel? I wonder if 
there's another button I can click. It, my hand's not naturally resting on the space bar, so it's actually kind of inconvenient here. I suddenly bash that. Oh, I can probably rebind things. Okay, I still need... Oh! I need this stuff. No, pick. Can I catch you? Oh, I was gonna say I'm preemptively space barring, but it didn't even come up with the space bar thing. No. Um, I hope you haven't upset me. Or gotten upset with me. Oh, I didn't expect to have to fight this little fish. I guess that's the ones I was hunting before. The oxygen meter is still fine. Ready to space bar. You guys can hear it when I mash the space bar. I don't know if that's good or bad. Is that the right kind of drama or is it just annoying sounds? Oh, auction tank. Did I actually refill my auction? Targets. Space bar now. I think that one needs it. Yep. Okay, we're halfway down our tank. I should probably make my way back up the surface. Ah. Very colorful fish. That's one of those parrot fish, isn't it? Oh, are you not spearable? Or is it just if I space bar too fast, it's no good? Oh, you, you got out here. Mash faster. Double fingers. Oh, I'm now overweighted. Just barely, though. Ooh. I don't want you. Hmm. Getting ready for that. Ooh. Come on. Okay. Never mind, then. Back to the surface it is. Um... Trying to evaluate what to drop. I'm over by just 0.3, so literally any of them is fine. And we had a lot of these blue tanks. So I'm gonna discard you. There you go. Got underweighted. Oh, see, it lets me use another air tank. Oh, okay. Oh wait. Okay, so I'm still over. I won't drop any more, though. I don't know, like, it said you slow down, and then it said you don't move. Um, maybe it doesn't actually make a difference. Maybe, because uh, I was like, well, more weight, maybe I'm still slower. But maybe there's just the two modes, and that's it. I don't care. We do have the air tank if need be, but I think we're going to make up to the surface just fine. You know what? We're nearly here. Right at the surface. Alright, let's go. Turn the boat. Oh, what a fun game! Very enjoyable. I mean, obviously, if it just stayed exactly like this, it would get old pretty quick, but. Hey, and then cooking ingredients. Dave, did you get to loosen up yesterday? Mm. Saw a lot of fish. Won't be easy to go any deeper. Did notice that the fish in the blue hole have an odd violent streak. Perhaps something put them on edge. Speaking of which, why don't you take this a gun in addition to the harpoon? A gun? A friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Hello, Duff. Wow, Cobra, it's been a while. Who's the goofy looking guy next to you? Sorry, that wasn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger. I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting. I thought divers were athletic and muscular. You seem to defy my prior knowledge. People who live in glass houses. I was going to say, what's this about? I'd like you to get straight to the point. I begun a very interesting business, and now I'm in need of some weapons. Duff, I need your help. In season two of Straw Stella. Straw Stella. I wonder what this is a reference to. Just end it anyway, because I'm sure it is. It must be. I'll give you a listen. All right, I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside changes every time you go inside. 
Oddly, any equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. Oh, then I get to keep my air tank then. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Mm -hmm. Rather interesting. You've piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you can say. Mm -hmm. Hypothesis that anything that's not made from the material found in Blue Hole will continue to break down. Mm -hmm. This will be especially true of guns, which have precision Ooh. parts. We'll have to get materials from the Seer mm -hmm. sets. Dave, you'll have to prove yourself to diver to this master buff. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why I should have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Mm -hmm. In Spears, you have no guns at all. Let's start with something easy. I need one rope and one scrap oh. iron. Right, Dave. Enter the blue hole, bring back rope and scrap iron. By the way, if you run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to make it back with one item. Keep that in mind. Okay, so we don't die. Okay, so that was the morning. So now we can do the afternoon. I can see we can time skip if I don't want to do the afternoon. And yeah, apparently we can go back to the restaurant in between without losing time. I only got the one starfish. Okay. Well, let's dive back in. I'll try to get that second starfish this time. Oh, so there's a maximum depth as well for the current equipment. We don't want to get ourselves tightened. Sploosh. Oh, there's the other starfish. I'm going to ignore some of the surfaces here. We're, we are going to go deeply and greedily right now. I got some more wood. I don't have a quest for that. I'm assuming, yeah, that just bounces off that. Like I'm playing a Mario underwater level. Ah, oh, it hurts. I don't think seeing insurance can be picked up with these gloves. Okay. What am I grabbing here? Hopper ore. Okay, so I'll need a glove upgrade to grab sea urchins at some point. Let's say that looks glowing like it's something we can get. Kajime. Baseball bat. Okay, so it upgraded my melee weapon, but it, it sounds like it's only for the one dive. Now, what I'm worried about is if I do this. Oh, use the escape pod to escape to your boat as quickly as possible. Check your surroundings first. The process takes some time. Huh. Wait, are you seriously? There we go. Some of them have to be damaged before they're catchable at all. Oh, come on. How did I miss that entire group? I can hear you guys say. Yeah, these are probably both going to take multiple hits, which is annoying. Because am I hitting the same one more than once? Come on. Ash. We got a fish with, like, a red bar below us. Red dot. I wonder if that one's hostile. It looks like it's got a big old jaw. Oh, critical depth. Oh, I'm too deep. Okay, so I'm limited to 40 meters right now. Good, good shot there, Will. Ready to mash? Ah, dang it. Yeah, I don't have the oxygen tank anymore. So that's good to know. Second time. No. I'm sure, it'd be close enough here. Smash, 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 smash. Okay. Oh, yeah, you are annoying. Black vinegar. Oh, yeah, I can't pick that up. I'm running out of air. Oh no, I'm being attacked! Run, run, run! Skip pod. Let's say it takes time. Oh no! Did I die? Alright, being rescued, only be able to retrieve one item. Just. Literally just the one. Oh no, that's terrible. Oh no. Alright, we'll do this so we can finish that. Okay, lesson learned. I wasn't sure about those mechanics, but I guess getting hit loses you oxygen. I'm like, do I have a health bar somewhere? All right, that was pretty risky. Pay attention, use escape pod. Oh, I was trying. Rescue, run out of oxygen, only be able to bring one thing back. There you go, I brought back the item. So I expect to of you. 
now. Give your reward as promised and stand my research. Sudden ecological changes in the region will need to be studied further, so I'll continue to need your services. Add my number! Okay. Well, at least we're in the positive money-wise. Collected 100 gold. Great job. Should be enough to repair what's broken. Then give me some time. The repairs need to be done right. Really hope the customers keep coming. Repair Banco Sushi is done. Yeah, I dove too deeply and too greedily. Waste of the second day. Oh, well. Let's go and do one more round of cooking here, and then we'll wrap up the first episode. Too deeply, too greedily. That's gonna, that's gonna be the case every time. Oh, uh, I guess I have to reset the menu every time. Keep menuing the stuff we have the most of, I guess. That's a, now, oh, auto supply. So is this gonna stay on the menu automatically now? Is what I'm wondering. Well, you have enhancements available. Oh, it's a permanent upgrade. I see! Oh, what a wonderful little cutscene. It's been upgraded. But it costs us some of the material. Okay. Well, you know what? I think it's probably worth going ahead and upgrading a bunch of these. I think that's going to use all of it. Yeah, ingredients used for enhancements. So I guess what we're doing is we're testing along the way. Oh. I'm just wondering, okay, I'm going to set all, all these auto supplies and I'm going to see if they show up there the next day as well. All right, let's open the restaurant. Maybe I, um, maybe I enhanced too many recipes here. Because we may not have enough to actually just sell. Perfect. Oh, that really is quite perfect. Pick up. Run, 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 run. Deliver. Come over here. Pour the tea. Spill the drop. Terrible. Run, 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 run. Pick up dish. Run, 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 run. Move your ass, Dave. Grab. Drop. Fish. Grab. Run, 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 run. What you want is a sweaty server. Very happy people today. We are selling some enhanced recipes. This still says one of one for some of these. Do we not actually have a quantity? <clears throat> or is that what it looks like when you've got it set to auto supply? Hmm. <clears throat> or is it filling the slot? I wonder if I just left it empty if, if auto supply was just an option. So it's just filling it with whatever's there. Sorted by value. I mean, that would be really convenient if it did that. All right. Closed. We did make fewer sales today. Maybe because we had less stuff. Or, you know, just within a random range. Maybe we just got really lucky on day one. All right, third day. Hopefully no failed fishing today. Oh. Who are you? It's like, do you have a license for fishing? Dr. Bacon. Are you Dave by any chance? Yes, what is it, sir? Ah, I'm always right about these things. Haha, <laughs> good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Dr. Bacon, I'm an archaeologist who studies at the Sea People Civilization. Studies the Sea People Civilization? Oh. We have, like, Namor down there, Submariner? The Sea People Civilization? Ah, I'll explain it to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me tell you all about them? Alright, maybe I shouldn't have asked. Ooh, cutscene. Look at this, we have more people. 
The Sea People civilization lives in legends. They are said to have occupied this region a long time ago. They worshipped fish and had gills allowing them to live underwater. They lived in depths allowing them to flourish without any concern for invasions for, by other civilizations. But sudden changes to the sea bottom brought about their abrupt downfall. That's about all there is to the story. Everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more, of course, but proof that they're real was found right in the vicinity of this place. Huh? It's an amazing find, one that could turn the whole academic world upside down. Ancient civilization under the sea. You'd only see such things in comic books or games. What makes you sure they're real? Assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found that it's from no known civilization. It's dated around 1500 years ago, and there were no civilizations in those parts back then. That's interesting, but what business do you have with me? Well, you see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out, and he won't be around for a good while. That's why I'd like you to help me. Oh, my assistant told me that the artifact was found 70 meters or so below the surface. Please go take a look. I'm busy with the sushi bar. I don't think we can. Sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we should help you. We'll gladly do so. What? We don't have time to swim around searching for artifacts. Think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Banco Sushi will be bursting at the seams. I suppose you have a point. All right, I'll help. Ah, isn't it lucky? Of course, I won't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. There we go. Enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. It's essential for exploration. I was going to say, all we can do is 40 meters safely. So if you want 70... These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technological advances are amazing. Let's first install the iDiver app on the phone before we proceed. Sure, that makes sense. iDiver app allows you to enhance various diving equipment. Equip, upgrade equipment with the money you make at Sushi Bar and elsewhere to explore the wa deeper waters. Now then, let me tell you how to use iDiver. Oh, yeah, yeah. Install the app, unlock your phone first. Run the iDiver app. And then we do have the level 2 suit upgrade. Depth limit is 80 meters. Upgrade. Be able to venture a bit deeper. Once you have enough money, use iDiver to enhance your equipment. Enhance the suit as well as your cargo box and auction tank. Never forget that anything can happen deeper. I'll be in touch. Right. Now, I noticed that cargo box thing. Traces the sea people. Chapter 1. Viable weight. So I guess right now I can't catch fish bigger than nine kilograms, or I won't be able to keep them. Need 300 of the harpoon gun. I may as well get the air tank, since that seemed pretty useful. We'll do that. But what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and put a cut in this video now. Uh, we'll be back with, uh, with I guess, the start of chapter one of Dave Div D uh, the Diver. Very happy to be spending my afternoon doing this. And uh, again, don't know how many videos in total this series will be, but if you are new to the channel, of course, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And uh, as always, you know, dropping a like and a comment, really good for the YubTub's algorithms. Much appreciated. Folks, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.